Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To, and another quick tip video on incoming call routes and how to handle them. Now, incoming call routes only work on ISDN and SIP trunks, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to set one up on an incoming, uh, on a trunk group. So what you do is you take, you, you type change INC, which is incoming call handling treatment, trunk, and I'm gonna say uh, 90 is for my trunk service feature. I mean, there's a there's a number of options in here and again refer to the documentation on these options and what and you also want to refer to your documentation that you got from your LEC depending on how your trunk is set up. Okay, um, but this works too. So other so let's say um, I know my carrier Verizon AT&T Quest whoever's sending me the digits So if I know what digits they're sending me I can put them here So the DNS also known as you know the directory number or dialed number identification service um, that's the information that's coming in here. So let's just say uh, the numbers they're sending me is, I don't know, they're going to send me 9766, okay? Oops, 4, <laughs> 9766, okay? And I want to translate that. So that's because I don't have a dial range of 9766, but that's the only thing they could send me. Well, I could delete 4, and I could insert 1499, which is my extension. It's my test extension, but you can see how I can do that on this trunk group itself. So if I know that the the, um, the carrier is sending me 9766, I can delete those from that trunk as they come in and do something with them and send them to 1499. Um, you could set this to a hunk group, you could set this to a VDN, anything that has an extension assigned to it, you could send it here, okay? So there you go for another quick tip on incoming call handling treatment. Um, it's a very powerful tool. Again, look up the documentation on it in great detail, but if I get a lot of questions, a lot of hits on it, I may do a full video on it, but I want to just get this out there so you guys know how to get to it, okay? So again, only works on SIP trunks, ISDN trunks, and you got to know what kind of service feature and what your, what your DNS or the, the digits that are being sent to you from your carrier. And that's it. Alrighty. Uh, hope you guys like this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.